Hello and welcome to Virtualize Everything. As you can tell from the screen behind me, we're going to be talking today about the machine types setting inside of the Proxmox VM configuration setting. This setting can be found by logging into the Proxmox web interface like we have done here and selecting your VM, then selecting hardware. Under hardware, you're going to see the machine setting setting as highlighted here. You can see I have chosen for this particular setup the default of i440FX. In an upcoming video, I explore having to change this setting for PCIe pass-through, and I really wanted to do a dive, both for my own education and the education of my viewers, on my understanding of what this setting's doing for you because we're going to have to configure that setting in that future video. So what is a machine type as defined by Proxmox? From my understanding, it defines the virtual chipset. So what that means is your motherboard is going to have a Southbridge and a Northbridge, and in some newer, more modern hardware, just a singular bridge that controls everything communicating with the CPU that the CPU doesn't have direct access to. So this is virtually the same interface of how your virtual machine communicates with your PCI, as well as your RAM, your graphics card, your sound card, or any of your control interfaces as presented to it via Proxmox. It's going to basically be that virtual PCI layout and firmware layout that that VM is going to use to actually work with the virtualization software. It's going to impact your compatibility and your pass-through. So if you choose the wrong option, you may not be able to pass through, say, a PCIe device or you might experience a difference in performance, as we're going to talk about here in this video. So the first layout is going to really be the default setting for Proxmox. And as I've learned more about machine types, I don't understand totally why it's the default layout today. I think there's still a lot more here I need to learn on these settings. But again, this video is what I know here in 2026 and early 2026 about this and why we have to configure this setting for things like Windows 11 and PCIe pass-through. So the i440FX chipset is a legacy chipset left over from Intel. It's going to be a a PCI based chipset. And if you haven't been maybe in computers as long as I, there was a socket type or interface type prior to ECIE and different than at the time, the AGP graphics adapter that we also have. This chipset is very compatible with many different operating systems. And I think this is why we may default to that, but it is also very old at this point. And it is suggested for use with older OSs. Your other option, the Q35, is considered to be a modern chipset having native PCIe support, and it's considered to be better for modern operating systems like Windows 11 or newer Linux kernels. It's better at handling devices, and it's a little bit faster in performance, although you are trading off some of that performance for reliability if you're choosing the i440FX chipset or machine type in your Proxmox setting. When you're considering what machine types or when to use a machine type, you should be using the i440FX machine type for older OSs or 
when you're not using PCIe pass-through and choosing to use boot types like Grub or other boot types that are handled by the C BIOS settings and not by UEFI. And we should be choosing the Q35 for Windows 10, Windows 11, modern Linux kernels when we're doing GPU NVNE pass-through, as well as when we're choosing to use UEFI formats on our system for boots. And I actually, when I'm working back through and thinking back on some of my previous videos when I did some virtualization for pass-through, I actually think this might have caused some of the error messages that you guys picked up on, and I didn't realize, due to some inexperience, what was actually happening. Q35, again, is recommended for GPU pass-through. It's better at handling PCIe because it's made native for it, so you're gonna have fewer driver issues when you're using the Q35 machine when you're doing PCIe pass-through. Some warnings or some things you want to consider when changing device types are going to be that changing a device or changing a chipset can break your installation. So you always want to make sure that you have a backup and take a clone of the system before actually doing a device type change. Now, this seems pretty standard for most of us that have been around, but if you're new into Proxmox and you're just stumbling upon this video, you may not understand the full finite details of how to interact with Proxmox. So I want to make sure that I do pass that warning on as a reminder that changing settings like this and all settings inside of your machine configuration can break things, and it's really important to back up any necessary types. A lot of us here in Home Lab play with things like this, necessarily having this system because we don't mind breaking things. I understand that. But that's a good warning to consider. According to what I have learned, as well as some of my interactions with an LLM, which I'm sure you can see from the backgrounds, the nice, fancy, bright stuff, I did use an LLM to create these. Your best practice on choosing which machine type is going to be newer OSs or newer VMs, you're going to want to choose that Q35 setting. For something older that you know that you want to keep stable, go ahead, leave it as the default i440FX. And I think in my own home lab, in my own trials, I'm going to stick to the i440FX type unless I have to run UEFI or do PCIe pass-through. At one point, I was only installing VMs with UEFI, but I was using that i440FX setup there. So I may have not actually done a UEFI install. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to have to go back and check some of those systems that I set up. But going forward, I will be trying to remember to use that Q35 system for all UEFI installs as that better supports UEFI than the i440FX system. Really, in conclusion for this video, if you're going to be using something that's legacy, something that's older, or something that you want to be more production and you don't require UEFI or PCIe, you're going to want to go ahead and choose the i440FX system type as presented via default to you from Proxmox. If you're using UEFI or plan on doing PCIe pass-through, go ahead and choose that Q35 device type. Lastly, I just want to go ahead 
and say thank you for watching our channel and helping us with views. Your views do really help this channel grow. They help this channel provide new hardware so that I can show things like PCIe pass-through and subscriptions, likes, and comments do really help us push this content to more viewers. So thank you for those that interact with us. And if you haven't but found this video informational, please consider liking, sharing, or subscribing to really help Virtualize Everything grow and reach more of the community. Virtualize Everything is about teaching and learning. I am a hobbyist, I am not a professional, and I do this so that I can help the community by teaching, and I love learning from the community too. The community's taught me a lot, pointed me in a lot of new directions, and opened my eyes in understanding towards Proxmox and Linux in general throughout my journey of YouTube. As always, have a good night.